Welcome to Rejoicing Heart Ministries. We hope everyone is having an awesome day. This is Robin Donna Litwin here to encourage you with the Word of God. Today we have a teaching about the all-inclusive salvation that Jesus has provided for us. Our reading is from the second letter of Peter, chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him, that has called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Today's teaching is called Precious Promises. This reading starts out with the Apostle Peter talking about Jesus' divine power and how through it Jesus gave us all things that pertain to or are related to life and godliness. The only way you can receive these things spoken of here is through the knowledge of Jesus and believing what he has already done for you to have life and godliness. This verse ends with the Apostle Peter saying that Jesus has called you to glory and virtue. And this again is through the knowledge of Jesus Christ and belief in his death and resurrection for your salvation. The next verse speaks of exceeding great and precious promises that have been given to us by Jesus. These promises are not only great, but they are exceeding great and precious because the salvation through faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is so much more than you can even imagine. Many people, including myself at one time, believe that the only thing Jesus' death and resurrection did for us is forgive all our sins so we could go to heaven. It is true that Jesus died for forgiveness of all sins for everyone forever, as shown in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 12. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. This verse proves that Jesus died for forgiveness of sins, but it does not capture a full picture of everything Jesus' death and resurrection did for you. The salvation Jesus provided you includes not only forgiveness of sins, but also perfect health, as shown in the first letter of Peter, chapter 2, verse 24, where it says, By whose stripes ye were healed. He also blessed you with prosperity, as Paul wrote in his second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 8, verse 9. You, through his poverty, might be rich. Along with these, Jesus delivered you from all evil, as Paul wrote in his second letter to Timothy, chapter 4, verse 18. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. Deliverance from all evil does not mean that you will not have problems. But when you understand deliverance, you will know in your heart that Jesus always wins. So no matter what your situation is currently, you will still come out on top, a conqueror, through Jesus. Included in this complete and all-inclusive salvation, Jesus empowered you, himself, to do the same things he did while he was here on earth, which the Apostle John quoted him saying in chapter 14, verse 12 of his gospel. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believes on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my Father. Jesus did so many awesome works that the Apostle John said in his Gospel, chapter 21, verse 25, And there are also many other things which Jesus did, the which, if they should be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. Hearing this would make many people cringe about doing the same things Jesus did, but Jesus said it himself. So if you do not believe it, You either just choose not to believe it, or you are simply calling Jesus a liar. And everyone knows Jesus cannot lie because he is perfect and holy. Jesus was quoted again telling you himself that his word is truth in the gospel according to John, chapter 17, verse 17. Jesus gave you power again through his words in the gospel according to Mark, chapter 16, verses 17 and 18, saying, And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. This is a short list of some blessings you have when you receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. But you must know that there are many more throughout the Holy Bible, and Jesus wants to bless you with wisdom and knowledge of them through it. The Apostle James wrote in his letter, chapter 1, verse 5, that God gives wisdom liberally to you, 
when you ask for it. You can receive much more insight and wisdom to these abundant blessings through the Word. All you have to do is what Jesus told you in the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 11, verse 9. I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. The Apostle Paul spoke of these blessings from Jesus in his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. This verse says that we are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. All means everything, which makes this something you will need to understand better to be able to accept it if you want to see them work full force in your life. Now, going back to our reading, the Apostle Peter confirms these statements by Paul when he wrote, According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. This says, You have been given all things through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory. This is speaking of you being given all things through knowing Jesus. How do you get to know Jesus? You get to know him through his word, because the Apostle John told you this in his Gospel, chapter 1, verse 14. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. You know Jesus through the Word because Jesus is the Word, and He is full of grace and truth. When you believe in Him, you receive everything He has, as Paul told you in his letter to the Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6, and has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We are sitting together in heavenly places with Jesus through our faith in Him. When you believe in what Jesus has done, you receive all these blessings. The only way to receive is through faith that Jesus died and rose again for you to receive this salvation, and it's all yours. If you desire this salvation and find yourself struggling to believe, take heed to what the Apostle Paul said in his letter to the Romans, chapter 10, verse 17. So then, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Your faith comes through the Word of God, the Holy Bible. In conclusion, remember that salvation is not only forgiveness of sins, but it is an all-inclusive salvation of precious promises provided through Jesus that can only be received through faith in what He has done for you through His death and resurrection. Father, thank You for loving us so much that You have provided us with an all-inclusive salvation through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Thank you for listening to Rejoicing Heart today. Rejoicing Heart is sponsored by the faithful partners of Rejoicing Heart Ministries. If you would like to speak to us or you need prayer, please contact us at 610-587-1732. If this teaching has encouraged you or changed your life, we would love to hear how it has helped you. Please visit our website, rejoicingheart.net. If this ministry blesses you and you would like to help us reach more people with our teachings, please consider a monthly partnership of $10 or send a one-time donation to Rejoicing Heart Ministries, P.O. Box 6891, Reading, Pennsylvania, 19610. Or you can find us on the internet at rejoicingheart.net. We leave you with more encouragement from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice.